So this condo right here is located on Bonita Beach. I was able to do a real estate exchange for another condo on Anna Marie Island. So let's go back to the condo so I can talk in detail exactly how I did it. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, and real estate investors grow their business. So home exchange, I got to test it out this past weekend and I gotta say it was pretty cool. For one thing, it was really easy to use with the app. I'll put a link below for you guys. I got to explore a new area that I probably wouldn't have picked up on before. So I was able to go over to Anna Marie Island for the weekend with my girlfriend, go explore the area. We had a great time. The lodging was free. It didn't cost anything besides the one-time fee that you pay per year. It would have been around $1,000 for a long weekend over on Anna Marie Island if we were to book a, a hotel or an Airbnb. So how does it work? So I'm in my beach condo right now over on Bonita Beach. I was able to exchange this condo for reciprocal exchange for uh, some lady's uh, beach condo over on Anna Marie Island. So it's a direct exchange. She came and stayed at this place and I went and stayed at her place. So my condo here, it's actually set up as a vacation rental pro in a vacation rental program. So um, our, our high months here, January, February, March, and April and uh, they're pretty much booked for those months so anyway I just have a lot of flexibility with this condo and that's why I decided to go the home exchange route um, it's already set up with an owner's closet it's turnkey um, so a lot of the personal items I'm able to just to throw into this owner's closet um, there's also an outside closet as well that are both locked up and any tenants or guests that come and stay here uh, they don't have access to those units. I know you're thinking your place might not be set up for something like this um, if you're thinking about it, you obviously want it to be marketable. Um, you want good pictures on the website. You want it to be clean. Um, you do want it to be in an area where people would visit to. It doesn't necessarily have to be on, on a beach. If your area is somewhere where somebody wants to go and explore, even if they have to take uh, you know, a train to the city. And just keep in mind that it's not trading necessarily apples for apples. Even this condo I think was you know, superior than the one that we stayed in over on Amory Island. Um, their, their condo was nice, you'll see a clip of it, um, but it wasn't directly on the beach like this one. It was a couple blocks off, so we had to, you know, walk a little bit further to the beach. No big deal. I didn't care because it allowed me and my girlfriend to go explore the island, um, explore the, the two piers that were out there, multiple restaurants and, and bars, kind of like a little sleepy beach town out there. So it was cool. Anyway, you do not have to have apples and apples. You know, your your property might be, you know, kind of in the suburbs or uh, might be, you know, further out away, kind of isolated. Maybe somebody's gonna want that and trade that type of lifestyle for a beach condo or somewhere on a golf course or a cabin in the mountains. So you just don't know until you put your property out there. So let's talk about the site itself, Home Exchange. It has really good searching capabilities as well. So you're able to search basically worldwide. Um, I've already been hit up by multiple people from, uh, we got an inquiry from Montreal, somewhere in Spain, I think it was Madrid, another place in Canada, as well as uh, Cayman Island right now. So there's a lot of search criteria that you can kind of sift through and uh, check out their ratings and so forth. So um, you have the ability to reach out to people and I do recommend that you do reach out to other people because having your property just on the site itself you know, it, it might not get the traction that you want. So you want to be reaching out to people, messaging them. Um, if you're flexible with the dates, it's ideal. Um, I know you might be working full time and you only have X weeks off per year to go on vacation or wherever the case is, but you know, you can always work in a long weekend. So I recommend trying to be flexible and you know, hit up a handful of people per week. You just never know what's going to hit. And uh, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But there's other creative ways that you can work this site as well. Um, so one of the things is you don't have to do a reciprocal exchange. You can actually exchange for points. So we're going to be taking a trip in a couple of weeks to Fort Lauderdale uh, for I think seven or ten days, something like that. And that exchange is for points. So this property has... Um, I think it's rated for like 130 points per night, something like that. So she's going to get 
those points and she's never gonna stay here. So then she can use those points and stay somewhere else for somebody who is willing to accept points. So it's kind of like virtual currency. Um, but this property is not indebted to these points. It's $150 for the year. I think it's super cheap because you gotta figure, my first exchange saved me probably a thousand bucks. Also, another cool thing is you can refer right through the app. You're gonna get a designated link. Uh, you can check that link out below. But you can refer other people to this and you can get 12, like 1200 points. Also, something to take in consideration, you do not have to even own a property. You should probably get your landlord's permission if you're gonna do something like this. But you can be leasing a property and do the same thing. If you got a roof over your head, you can probably do this exchange. Here are some quick clips from our trip. So my question to you guys is, have you ever done anything like this? This is my first time. I thought it was pretty cool. Saved some cash, explored a new area that I probably was never gonna explore. I'd like to hear about it. Throw your comments below. If you guys found this information useful, subscribe, the little bell that's up there. I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you. It's caught in the crossfire.